welcome to Creative Pickings. This is Benjo, the urban explorer. What's up, bro? Thank you for being part of the show. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nakahiya nga. Siya pa nag-set up ng camera. No, I was very, 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 very happy to do it. So, bro, my first question. Uh, what is an urban explorer? Yung nakita ko sa website mo. You're an urban explorer. You're not just parkour. No. What is it exactly? Okay, so the... We, I call myself, we, we call ourselves mm -hmm. uh, urban explorers because we go to places and, and venues and locations that are not accessible to the common man and we take pictures and videos to show the beauty of that place to the common man. <laughs> parang, parang this, is, this is what you can see uh, behind these closed doors, behind these curtains, these veils. This is the view from the back, from the uh, other side of the city. Parang <laughs> the weird, yeah. The reason I brought you in the show, because Creative picker, or Pickings is about creative people. And oh. your role is very um, physical. But you need creative. Ka pa rin, eh. like, like, how do you choose which building? How do you get inside? That's the first question, ko, actually. How do you get into most of these places? Okay, so... Well, there's no way around it. You have to go through the front door. <laughs> there's, it's, you, have no, you have no choice. You have no choice. Like, um, if I want... Like, for example, there's this bank I went into in Makati. Mm. <laughs> Funny story. So I passed by all the... All, like I submitted my bag for inspection and then they ran, to, you know, through the x-ray machine. They ran it through the x-ray. Do you tell people what you're trying to do? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so I, I, I go in, I go in legally. Like legit, so you know, right. people say like, oh, you're trespassing yeah, or you're yeah. climbing the side of the building. Then they're like, no, there's no secret to it. I just go through the front door. Go through the front go door. Go through the front door. I leave, my, I leave my ID. I get, I get the building's ID and then I just go up. And ah. then look for the how we how we did it here. Yeah, how we did it here. <laughs> look for the stairwell, and then and thank then, you, Cal. Thank you, Z. <laughs> so yeah, and then I go up. But most people think that you know, yeah, you're in a very sensitive location. Um, many things can go wrong. Many things can happen. But I'm really just there to take photos and videos. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, Finding the, the right building, what, going back to your second question, finding the right spot, um, I use Google Maps. So for example, ah, I would like to yeah. shoot uh, the Mahati skyline, but from the east side. So I go, I'll open Google Maps and then I'll say, okay, Mahati, and then zoom in and then look at, look at the western side and, or look at the eastern side, like what buildings are here that would let me shoot the Mahati city skyline. Wow. And then when I, when I, when I locate Siguro three or four buildings, um, when I'm free, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd visit and then just check the place out. Check it out first. Yeah, and then I'll say like, oh, it's a hotel, but I can go in. Okay, sige. So, <laughs> yeah, and then, Find out what it is from, oh, yeah, right, wow. So, yeah, I'll go in and then, then buy a drink and then put the camera on the side and then keep shooting long. Wow. Yeah. Why, why do you do that? Uh, I, like, yeah. I, I can see the method now, which is actually pretty simple. Like, why do you do it? <laughs> hmm. Uh, first thing was because I was in a dark place before. Okay. Kala ko wala pa nagtatanong sa inyo. Sorry, sorry. So you're, no, no, you're yeah. In yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, very, my cousin, he passed away. He was very dear to me. And then, uh, you know, as you were growing up, you, uh, as a kid, you always thought na, I'm gonna live forever, you know, I'm, I'm immortal, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a lot of things. I don't care about the time I have because I'm I'm gonna be here for a while. And then when you get your first taste of uh, mortality, then you, you then your brain starts to like, oh wait, what? Life is short. Yeah. What? What? This can happen? Holy. Oh, yeah. you can bleep that out so so yeah i was in that place where i was i wasn't depressed i was more of confused you know be, i'm like questioning society why why at an early age it wasn't taught or you know you know death and all that you know because uh, uh, yeah and then you know, and society just teaches you as you grow up is to consume 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 and then you're like what's wrong with humanity so so my brain was starting to think about a lot of things i wasn't depressed I was confused why human beings are like this. So in my confusion, I was trying to get out of that 
that place, you know, that anxiety that I had. Um, and then one day I saw <laughs> I saw a few urban explorers uh, doing their thing. I'm like, oh, that that seems cool. Wow, he's he's climbing a crane. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> and then I'm like, and then and then suddenly someone from the Philippines, he's he, someone he did it first. Yeah. Um, he started. Uh, going into uh, abandoned parks and then just started taking photos there and I'm like yo if someone can do it in the Philippines you know so we're not really friends me and that guy yeah, yeah. so I sent him a message like hey man you dude I love your stuff cool. so I kept I kept sending him messages every week because every week he'd post a picture every week yeah, and he would he would he would he would ignore <laughs> my like, messages Ooh. but uh, after a while I'd be like who is this yeah, guy why is this guy why is he so persistent so yeah, on the third yeah. I think I believe on the third or fourth message he said like yeah yeah, you know what, Sige, you want to join me? Uh, be here at 4 a.m., uh, Meet. let's meet in 7-Eleven, and we'll climb a bridge. And I'm like, yo, what? A bridge? <laughs> yeah. Sige. But then at that time, when this this fella invited you, were you already doing anything related to parkour or urban exploring? Uh, I was practicing parkour, but I wasn't, okay. wasn't mentally ready yet for mm. urban exploration. So, I, yeah, I can jump far and climb walls so he had some physical ability but yeah. this guy was just like let's go and you're like, <laughs> so how was that yeah um it was life-changing man <laughs> um i felt like a, a kid again you know when you're when you're exploring places when you're when you were younger and you just see this fence and you say oh, i wonder what's on the other side of the fence and then all your friends are like, yeah let's go check it out and then you you park your and bikes you and then you climb up and then you oh, go there and you see like wow well, there's a swimming hole there's a yeah. swimming hole you like, take your clothes so i felt like that i felt like i felt i felt the the need for i felt like an adventure mm. and i felt like I was, I felt alive again, you know, lang. so because wow. getting out of that dark place was, was a bit hard. And then people think now I go up just to take photos. That's true. But before the main reason was meditation. Mm -hmm. It's, if you notice, it's quiet here. You, you hear less of the noise. Yeah. What more if we're on a 44, 45, For 50, sure. 60 it's story higher. building, but well, you just hear the wind. And then you you might hear some birds. I saw an eagle once there uh, in a BG. You see that gold oh, building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw an eagle there. It was crazy. Like, you were at the top of that. I was on the top of that, yeah. Wow. So, so it was crazy. Then when I went back down, I told the guard, like, <laughs> Kuya, Kuya, I saw an eagle on the Oh, it's been a long time. So, yeah. So, it's like that. There's nothing, there's, not, there's no noise. Yeah, yeah. And it's very easy to meditate. So, um, diba when we meditate, the first five ten minutes it's so noisy your brain is thinking about a lot of things and it's hard to isolate that one little yeah, that yeah that one little dot but on the roof it was quite easy Whoa. so i was able to meditate on that confusion that dark place yeah. question why why you know the, the the great questions why we're here what's our purpose and all that i was able to focus on those three on those three questions and i found the answer what is the there's answer? no answer <laughs> <laughs> the, the ten dudes so no, there no, is no answer there's but no you answer. can still like do you, but do you, how do you feel from when you lost your um, cousin to today today like, how, how, has it helped yes do you feel better even yeah, though you yeah. don't know the answer yeah yeah <laughs> it's the it's the oh, acceptance like, of that that answer which is there is no answer hmm. it's the acceptance of that answer is that Life is meaningless. It, it's dark, you know, life is meaningless, but it's actually really beautiful mm -hmm. because it's up to you to find meaning in this life, eh? find your purpose. There, right. when, you, when you come into this world, no one knows you're going to be a musician. No one knows you're going to be a photographer, a videographer. No one knows you're going to be an architect or an interior designer. But you, found, you find your, your path. Eh? Mm -hmm. So, and I got to relate it with parkour because in parkour, there's that thing called find your own path. Okay. So, so, find your own path where you find your place to jump. Yeah, yeah thing, again, no? again. So I, I found I found out that if I wanted to live a meaningful life, it's up to me to find meaning in it. Because there is actually no meaning to it. You come in after 50, 60 years, you go out and then that's it. So what did you do with those with that time? With that, with that time? So find meaning in, in, in that time. So how do you find meaning in uh, obviously you do more than just urban exploring, but <clears throat> that specifically when you go up to a high rise or a top of a building top of that like what what's the meaning of that because you're the only one that 
really is able to appreciate outside of the photos. So for you, what, what kind of meaning does it have? Uh, well, at the start, it was just all about taking photos and videos, coming back down and looking at, this, at these photos and learning from the things that I meditated upon when I was on that roof. So every, when I see a photo, I don't only see a photo, I remember the lesson I learned that night, that day I was up there. So it started like that. And then eventually after, did you play basketball in college? No. What, did you play any sports in college? No. No. What did you do in college? I went to music school. You went to music school. But the, I played a little bit of basketball in high school, so maybe are you going to relate it to sports? Something like that. <laughs> and or cooking. Or, sure. and, or any hobbies. Or let's, let's say music, music. Did you play the drums? Yes. Did you try? Yes. yes but yes. then you found that guitar was the one for you. Guitar is better. Something like that. So mm -hmm. when I was climbing, I thought that it, it would just be like that. And then after, after playing the drums, playing the drums after climbing I said what's next parang gets ko I mean I, I can do it it's easy na um, but what's next for this I mean hanggang dito na lang ba ako? you have to keep growing no yeah right so yeah so uh, so I said like I asked a few of my friends so what should I do what should I do they go like you know I like this I'm gonna buy this you're gonna buy my photo? Like, yeah, I'm gonna buy your photo. And like, really you sure? Yeah, sure, check it out. And they're like, are you sure? I love you. Yeah, are that. you sure? <laughs> <'Cause you're> like, <laughs> Don't buy it. Uh, because see, I, I never, thought, never that, thought that, that I could. Possible. Yeah, oh yeah. And I'm like, really? Uh, wait, hold on. Let me let me research first how much it is, and then I'll give you a discount. And like, okay. <laughs> so I, I researched on wow. the on the salary. Sorry, on the average market price of selling a print, yeah. and uh, it was around seven thousand five hundred pesos. And then I told, I told them like, um, well, it said it says that it's seven five, but I'll give it to you for four thousand. Yeah. <laughs> because like, no, really? dude, I'll buy it for five. They're like, what really? <laughs> so, so I, so I, I, I looked for, I looked for a, a printer, ah, yeah, and then, yeah. and then a really cl close friend of mine uh, owns a printing company, mm -hmm. and then I said, uh, hey, can we print this? You know, test, test lang, and then yeah. see. Yeah. And then we we'll split the profit together again. again. Okay, wow. so, uh, and then so, so in 2016, mm -hmm. uh, mid 2016, I started selling prints. Cool. Yeah. So a few a few companies bought them. A few of my friends bought them. Friends, families, and um, it's mostly in condos or offices. The biggest one is in. Oh. Yeah, you'll see a huge. Yeah, photo so of mine. So you were commissioned by. Like, hey, yeah. 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 Start from when it was still small. Yeah. 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 Wait, what's that building? How come it's taller than taller than this? Why? How come it's taller than that? So I started researching, and then I found out that it is going to be the tallest building in the Philippines. Really? It is the tallest it building in the Philippines. Yeah, building. it is the tallest. Yeah, Two hundred eighty meters. That one, no? The gold, the golden oh, the tower. Golden yeah, one. yeah. Okay, okay. Not the one you went up. Yeah, yeah. You. Okay, and then okay. I said. I have to get up on that. I have yeah. to get up on that. It's it's my life's purpose and then <laughs> <laughs> it's my life's purpose. It's it's for it's, now. it's yeah. the finale to my urban exploration. Eh? Uh, wow. Roof 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 version. So I said I really have to go up there. So what I did was when when they finally installed the spire, they call it the spire, the tower. Oh, yeah. I went to the construction site and I started talking with the cons construction workers. Wow, wow. And then they said like, <laughs> I, I, I bribed a few of <laughs> them. So you're asking something. Hey, yeah. Hey, kuya. Yeah, so picture lang po sa task. Wow. And they're like, kuya, ayoko pa wala ng trabaho. Oh, yeah, po, po, get... po. And then like, and then one guy, he was really nice. He said, alam mo kuya, may kilala ko, baka matulungan ka niya. Siya si engineer, I won't say his name. Yeah, yeah, and then, sige, again, again. And then, like, okay, sige, pwede mo ba pakilala? Oh, sige, balik ka mamayang mga 10, 10 o'clock. So, okay, sige, sige. So, so nag-chill mo na ako sa BGC. Went back around 10 a.m. and then I met him. Then he, he said that, oh, this is the guy you should talk to. But then he's in a meeting, he's, he, he's in a meeting with some other architects. But he, but he knows you're going to talk to him. So, abang ka na lang dyan. Then, then, so, I was ready. I had, I had my phone. I had my printed uh, photos ready. Tapos, 
he when he was parang when he let everyone go and I was like oh nasa na yung photographer and he goes oh ikaw ba yan liga dito and I'm like hey, yes sir so I'm like right. and then I go like hi I'm Benjo I do this I do this I take photos blah 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 blah, blah. and then it, if you let me shoot on top of that building I can give you unlimited number of photos for free for you to use for anything basta you let me climb your spire and then he goes like and he goes like patingin na mga gawa mo and then he goes he's like like checking your portfolio una he was kasi on my portfolio uh, you see the cityscapes muna uh, puro without me yeah. and then at the latter part you see me na you know the, <laughs> it's like that yeah, yeah. Oh, basta with me in the in, in frame and then he saw the one when I climbed the transmission tower. Then he saw the one when I climbed this building. And yeah, he was like, yeah. Oi, si Raul, ka pala <laughs> and, yeah, he like, and he goes like, I, li- I like crazy guys like you. Then he calls all his engineers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check, check this guy out. Check this guy out. So the, the response was very positive. So yes. I was like, yo, these guys want me to do it. And he was like, then he goes, ah, maganda to. Sige, uh, i-refer kita kay marketing. Give me your contact number. Like, what? What? Seriously? So oh. la, 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 I gave him everything. Oh. After three days, marketing calls and yeah. says, "Can you come to the corporate head office and let's talk about your proposal?" And yeah, then I, yeah. go, I come in like polo shirt and all, you know, all all dressed for that. Yeah. yeah, and then I started presenting as as professionally as I can. Yeah, and then they got it. They said, "Let's do it. Let's do it." Well, hey, it's free, man. You went in, you did a marketing <laughs> proposal, and by the way, I'm risking my life. This is free. <laughs> So it was How so cool. How can they say no? <laughs> it was so cool. Yeah, so all the photos I took, all the videos I took, I said, uh, here it is. Wow. Uh, it's yours. And then whatever happens after this, parang, uh, you know, let, let's see. I don't know, kunyari, baka good impression, bad impression. Yeah, I'll, I'll take yeah. it, you know. Basta ako naman, I, re- I just wanted to climb it. And then you guys, you needed marketing materials, 360 view of the whole place. The, here it is, it. yeah, man. Wow. So I give it after, <laughs> after, I think after seven days, marketing calls again, uh. and then they said, "Do you do corporate ABPs?" Yon. Hey. That's, that's my first pro gig. Yon. My Side first pro line. gig. Yeah. It's like okay, this guy takes photos. <laughs> hey, nakilala na to. That's amazing. Yeah. Pero wait, kailangan ko tanawin yung yeah, yeah, yeah. what goes on your mind when you're actually climbing because the story behind how you got there was pretty cool but like when you climb high rises buildings you've yeah. never done it before no. you've never seen it no. there's no rehearsal no 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 none. so like how do you feel how do you do it um so all that meditation came in came very handy mm. in one of the in one of my meditation sessions i was able to uh, well, my girlfriend says I know how to compartmentalize my feelings, but for me, it's just to block out my emotions. Mm. It's it's a good and bad thing, I guess. So, so when I'm when I'm supposed to be scared, I I tell my brain not to be scared, but I can just switch it off, and then I just start going. My brain is. My arm, naman nandid. So you need to switch it off. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, so when I'm supposed to be scared. So, for example, I'm in a new environment, like like this, or in a new environment, and then I say, "Nah, uh, the best composition to take that photo should be should be there." But hey, I have to balance on that side. Yeah, yeah. On the ledge, there's no support structure for, on the left or right. But for me to be able to get the best and sickest photo, I'd have to risk my life to get my camera to the edge. Parang ganon. So, at the start. At the start, I'm already rehearsing how I'm going to do it. Mm. And then when I start to execute, na, um, that's when I start to tell my brain, na, hey man, uh, shut up for a while. I just need to do this. Uh, let's talk later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After I've set the camera and went, come back here. You can scold me later, but for now, I just need you to let me get to the other side. Yeah. And then, so good. And so he, he, yeah, I call him he, he, he keeps quiet and he lets me do what I want to do. And I come back and then, suddenly a flurry of emotions start coming out like my legs start shaking and then and then my brain is like yo what the f- 
yeah, <laughs> sure. We've and then, never done this. What are you doing? Yeah. And then, and then it's just it's like me talking to myself or to my emotions, and then I'll just say like, "Hey, man, we're okay. We did it, diba right? And then he's just like, ah, "Fine." Yeah. And then you just keep quiet. And then yeah. I, I take out my phone and I start watching movies, and then I start eating na, and then until Water. I until until I finish the shoot, yeah. So when I was climbing up my first screen, I climbed up my first screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was in Taft. Okay. Um, so good and then there is no su- there is no support structure. Uh, it's just the crane's trusses. Mm, it's just the crane stresses. Um, yeah, okay. but triangle kasi siya sa lobe. Yeah. And there's no ladder inside, and you have to climb from the side. And it was in a, I think, 30 or 45 degree angle. So it was my first time. I didn't. Climbing I, up for I didn't know how to climb a crane. Dude. Okay. I don't know okay. how to climb a crane. Okay. So we were there, na, and then I'm like, okay. Okay, and then mean because we were three, and then they're like, "Yo, dude, I'm not climbing that." Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, "Means and lang to, like I have to go up there." Because wow. so good, and then I'll sit down, and then I look at it, and then I'll try. I rehearse. Yeah, so you mentally. Rehearse. Yeah, like my hand goes here, and then my left foot goes here, and then I pull my body up, and then once this is close to my chest, I use my left arm to reach up. Yeah, and I'm oh. I'm playing it in my head, okay. and then I'm like, okay, okay. So it seems easy. So it's baby steps, and then I'll get there. Even though matagal, we have five hours spa to shoot. I'll get there. So okay, sige. Then I go to the the truss na, and then I hold it, and then I put my foot there with my. I put my shoe there, and I see like, oh, makapit naon pala. Yeah. Oh, dope. Okay, it just makes things easier. And then I get my camera, strap it around my neck, and then I'm like, okay, bro, I just need you to keep quiet for five minutes. I'm just going up, and then when we get up there, you you can scold me. But as I, as we ascend, mm. you just let me do what I need to do, and then it keeps quiet, and then I go up, and then. For so true enough, when the, when I do that, all I can hear is the wind. Sometimes my heart beating, in lang, and then I can just see like where I put my feet, where I put my foot, where I place my hands, and then yun. and then it's it's all. It's like a formula. Na hand goes has to be here before left hand reaches up. Okay. Then foot needs to be here. Parang it's I have this checklist that I have to keep checking. It's almost every... like you're doing uh, yoga or like you're meditating because you're so focused on. Ah, per day. I haven't done yoga, happening? but baha yeah. The way you think about it. Yeah. Because you can't be distracted. No, I cannot. You can't be. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be really focused. Yeah. Um, that's hard. I'm sure that happens. No, like. With people, the more you do this, like for example, you'll have people go cheering, like, ah, yeah, 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 or like, hey, I'm not going with it. Like, how do you stop? You're in the middle of it. You're like, mm-hmm. oh. ah, that's right? a, that's one of the secrets, I guess. I don't, I don't climb when people are are awake. Oh, okay. I don't climb when people like are super there. Super early or super late. Super, yeah, yeah. It's just the only people who see me are my friends who who are with me up there. But it, kunyari public eye. You can't see me. <laughs> wow. No, no, uh, li- yeah. literally and figuratively, because when you're from up here, well, yeah, <laughs> you can't see it the <laughs> yeah, yeah. End, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Wow. So, so when uh, when people are asleep or when when there's when there's no one there, that's when we go. Yeah. So after the first time you climbed your first like high rise, you knew to yourself, I have to keep doing this. Yeah. I have to. Like, yeah. Obviously, the fears and the anxiety were there, no, but. The just, yeah. The, do you like that feeling? Do you like the feeling of going like that feeling where your stomach feels like something's coming out? Actually, yeah. Because <laughs> that's when you feel alive, eh. You know, like you know, you know wow. that 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 scary feeling is yeah. the one that's telling you, na parang yo, it's scary, but you know in your heart that you can do it, and you know that after you do it, this is what will happen. Like the joy, the goal, the excitement, they all overpower those the fear. Yeah. The and then they just like like I mean I just secret to success actually. I think it's like right it's like playing in a gig. Because mm. I when I was younger I used to play the drums. Oh, okay. Yeah. We played in USD Pascoan once. Yeah. That was that was my first and last gig na super damin tao. Like we were climbing up the stage of the grandstand. That's scary, you know? <laughs> and then I was the like you see, it, you see this this ocean of people so yeah, up, and then I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god, and then you see the drum set, and then like, voila, you have to sit there, 
You're, you have there's no other way. You have to sit there. Man, it's just a different beast, man. When you're risking your life, and uh, <laughs> obviously it's just yeah, it's compartmentalizing your brain. They're both scary. But yeah, maybe I've just been trained. It's like, oh, they're only people. Yeah, you know, they're only people. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. when you're up in, you're not going to say, oh, it's only 40 feet, you know, or it's only like 50 feet if I fall, like, I'll still live. You know? <laughs> it's not very much like that. But yeah, not, not to put that in your brain. Um, how do you, because you were talking earlier about how that same hotel company decided to hire you for an MVP. Mm, yeah. So with what you do, how do you make it lucrative? Do you think about that consciously? Like, do you think, Man, I need to make money. I need to pay rent. I need to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. think about that? Always, and how always, do you make always. What you do lucrative. All right. So, good question. So, so they they pitch they pitch the the idea. They want this um, real estate um, video, and I go. Obviously, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> because wow. I, I mean, You've never done it before. I've never done it before. Because yeah. I know I, I can shoot on a roof, but in a controlled environment where there's lights cameras ah. and, yeah, so parang it's a different it's different and then I start feeling scared again and, it, and excited <laughs> at the same time so the best thing to do uh, it, the best thing I thought that I needed to do in that situation was to really ask a professional mm-hmm. um, okay. I, I, I have a day job I'm a project manager for a tech company. Oh, okay. So, you know, when you execute projects, there's the, the build phase where you get all the requirements and then you fix the contract and then, mm. and then implementation until production, etc. So I said, like, no, I have to think of this like uh, project management style. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So um, I looked for a professional, someone who really makes videos. Um, his name's Tapos. I asked hey man uh, I got this gig uh, but then I don't want to go into it without knowing what I can offer what I can get from it and what can be achieved in the whole process so I go so I sugar sure man how what do you want what do you need from me you wanna you want to meet you want to talk it's like a, uh, are you free today indeed I was like oh, are you free they say indeed now are you free now yeah can I can I ask everything in, in Facebook chats I'm like, yeah sure bro so I start asking and then yeah I ask like you know what what um, uh, how much do videographers charge professionally and he goes like he's like he says like oh this is my rate now blah 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 it's like director rate camera up yeah, yeah. this was 2016 eh? so I'm sure his rates are higher yeah, now oh, yeah. so so yeah and then he goes like bawasan mo na lang kasi nagsistart ka pa lang yeah. pero not so low na it's hard to go up yeah. just enough na when you've gotten all the knowledge all the experiences you can propel Slowly yourself walk. higher yeah, yeah so he goes like okay so and then I asked him bro okay ba pag camera operator gantong rate muna so niya, oh, yeah yeah pwede yan, pwede yan. what's your camera ba I don't have a camera. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and he oh, goes hey. like, ah, "You're I, gonna do this project, bro, without And okay, he goes okay. like, "What? What? How? Are, yeah, how are you gonna do it? I might hire someone. Okay, but that's good. Yeah, you can hire oh, someone, hey. but make sure you pay him this rate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, of course. Oh, yeah. Do you have a drone? I don't have a drone. Ah, how are you? <laughs> so you need. And then he goes to he's telling me na, yeah, you need a drone because it's real estate. You have to shoot Dude, the facade. Dapat ginigimo na lang yung gig sa kanya. <laughs> but you're like, no, I'm doing this. Wala akong camera, wala akong drone. Pero kaya ko to. So, uh, you got, wala talaga. So, and he goes like, oh, hey, do you have a gimbal? What's a gimbal? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, bro. And then, oh yeah, he started, he start, dude, yeah. he's so helpful. He's a really nice guy. You'd love him. Awesome, Tapos, awesome. Um, so he starts teaching me, like, this is what it does, blah, 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 blah. But I yeah. can't go in depth. This is just the basics. You have to learn it of after. Course, man. You can only say so much over Tama. chat. Tama. So that happened September. The project started uh, November. So I had months to prepare. Oh, yeah, yeah so I had months to prepare. So I, bro, I started learning about cameras, lenses, apertures, ISO, shutter speed, 4K, 24 FPS, what Whoa. this means, what that means. I just dived right into it and like, boom. And my yeah, girlfriend man. was like, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, yes, I'm sure I want to do this. And yeah. I start watching videos. I start watching um, uh, video articles. I start reading articles on how to shoot, how to create, how to do this, how to do that. I've had basic video editing skills from making <laughs> making cheap Parker videos in yeah, the man. past. That's <laughs> how you learn. Yeah, right? but... I put here, oh, ooh, transition. <laughs> so again, that's how I learned and put in music, la 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 la. So again, but then to make it professionally, I really needed to be professional. 
So yeah, um, yes. So the camera. Apparently, my girlfriend she has a camera which she doesn't use, but she uses, but very very seldom. So I said, "Hey, babe, can I borrow this?" Sure. I have no drone. I go like, "Hey, bro, as a friend, hey, hey bro, um, I don't know how to fly a drone, but can you drone for me?" Nice, and then nice, he goes yeah, like, nice, yeah. Nice. And then I asked him like, yo, what's your what's your rate? And he he gives me this rate. And then I'm like, okay. So and then he goes like, press on your project. Or I just I just want to know. And then I give him the name of the building. He goes like, what? You have access to that, dude? Don't pay me. Just let me shoot whatever I want. Wow. Are you sure? Wow, he just wants to go. Yeah, <laughs> no, because it's a, I can't disclose it. But yeah, off, yeah. off the it's record, location, yeah. Very good location. He goes like, dude, don't pay me. Let me just shoot that place. Wow. I'm like, oh, okay, bro, game, game. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and so all I have in, in project management. When, you know, very organized. You have the checklist checklist of your requirements, and then once waterfall method, once you're ready to proceed, you move on to the next phase. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So I I send I send I send the contract. Now this is we're going to do it for this rate and shoot for three days and then and then copyright to the videos raw, fo- raw files are my are I are mine are ours but you can keep the edited photos and you can use them for whatever purpose you want blah 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 fix the contract send and then after two days contract signed you start shooting and you you were in the penthouse for three days man wow. <laughs> you were living the life like balling it's a nice place, <laughs> so it's wow. a nice place parang, bro check me out shoot me shoot me I'm playing the grand piano in the grand hall of the <laughs> <laughs> so we were, we were just having fun, but then we were, we were yeah, really yeah. we were shooting. That's on, on breaks, Shepre. We do what we want. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So so yeah, and then um, edited the video. I showed it to like, hey man, check this out. Do you think this is this is good? Do you think it's nice? Like, and you say, nah, oh maybe you should change this part to this part because uh, the story doesn't lead to there. And then boom, I never learned back then. I didn't know how to tell. Story. Story through video. Yeah. Oh. So and then he go. Then he starts telling me that um, there's this thing called visual storytelling, and I had to learn that. He said to to be able to create memorable and siguro video masterpieces, you needed to you needed to learn how to create visual storytelling. Then he sent me videos of sobrang ganda. I'll send them to you. Sobrang ganda visual storytelling. There's no audio. There's no dialogue. It's just visual storytelling. Then your wow. brain starts creating these. And you're like, what? Yeah, yeah. Holy mother of <laughs> yeah, and so It's possible. Holy yeah, yeah. Sh- So I said, focus on this first. Move this here. Then put this here. Change the color of this. Maybe crop here and then do this. Blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, then I applied everything. Sent it to the company. Dude, they loved it. No revisions. It took it kagat. Wow. No revisions. <laughs> first project. <laughs> <laughs> no revisions, kind of good. Wow. So yeah, I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Then boom. Then after that, one, did Dubai got that, now nah? Yeah, man. So you went, you went, you had the question before, like, how did I make it lucrative? How did I make it possible to earn money from it? I started marketing myself. Um, started sending emails to unknown people. So you're cold calling. Yeah, kind yeah, of and, and, I, and I and I go to um, offices in in Mahati and BGC or in, in and in Artigas. Then like I have a, I have this portfolio and then I have this bag and then my laptop. And then I'll go there and then I scan the <laughs> I scan the list of companies there and like oh so yeah, I'll try to talk to that company. Hi, uh, I have a meeting with. Uh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> like, ah, yeah, like, yeah. Give me, I did not give it a building. I just like, go. I'll go up and then I'm like, ah, I need to speak to marketing. Uh, who's your contacts in marketing? I'm not really sure. <laughs> they just told me to wait here and then be assisted to marketing. Wow. <laughs> and then they go like, the and receptionist then they eventually is like, find somebody. Okay, right? yeah, that's yeah. no, uh, Sir, man, uh, get me. <laughs> there's this Benjo here for marketing. Ah, uh, oh, ngapu eh. Oh, oh, sige. Okay, uh, Benjo, five minutes, okay lang. I think, like you go in there, and I feel like the people that work there don't even know. They're like, wait, where are you going to the meeting? <laughs> right? They'll just be like, they're, they're so all over the place. Yeah. And it's just you go in, they're like, true, true. Ah, who cares? I'll just talk to this yeah, guy anyway. Five minutes, <laughs> lang naman, eh. exactly. five minutes. And yeah. then I sit Hello. down, parang, uh, I understand you have five minutes. I'll make this quick. I'm a, I'm, a pro- I'm a professional photographer and videographer and I provide real estate services to blah, 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 blah. And then this, this is what I do. This is what I can do. And this is what you don't have. And I'm sure I can give this to you. And then they'll be like, so 
<laughs> do you have a business card? I don't have yeah. business cards. I don't yeah. do business Sabi cards. Lang, I'm always out. Sorry. Yeah. I give them all out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't have any at the moment. Uh-oh. But I can get your numbers again. Oh, even better. Actually, yeah, even better. Yeah. So, so that's what I've been doing. And then word of mouth. And then um, I started trying LinkedIn, which I don't do. Yeah. I, I tried it. Lang. Um, I got two projects from LinkedIn. Wow. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like How much does it cost to make a LinkedIn profile? It's free. Yeah. You spend like 30 minutes yep. to an hour and that was two projects. Yep, yep. Amazing. That was, see, just kept sending and then I'm very, 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 very fortunate talaga na at this moment um, a lot of my friends and family members and past clients have been referring me to other people. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, super blessed. And then my, my girlfriend, she said, don't take projects in December, huh? I <laughs> like, say, no because, projects in there Because, you know, family time and all that. Yeah. Even if they say they'll pay you well, don't take it. Like, oh, okay. And then I'm like, no, I'm just going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> you workaholic, man. <laughs> so, Did you ever have a time? Because I, I see you as such a go-getter. You just, you don't know something, but you go for it. Which I think, like, you have the recipe for success man, in anything you do. Was there ever a time that you were lacking confidence, like very insecure, afraid to even speak to people? Were you ever like that? Mm. When I was younger, maybe. But during the... When, when I started doing this... Um, yeah, because what made that switch? When... Because I don't think anyone is born like inquisitive Uh-oh. no one is born like hard work yeah. <laughs> this is stuff you have to develop yeah. so when did it switch for you or what did you do before like in high school was there something like did you play sports did you have a good coach did you have a good mentor no. like your parents like how read what? good books no uh i did guess you, did you eat something man no no <laughs> we all want to know <laughs> I, when uh i guess it's really just i, I woke up when my cousin passed away I, I thought I was living the dream, just playing PS4, just going out to drinks, you know, smoke, go to bars, you know, just... just so it's just a very carefree life Yeah, back then, back then yeah. And then I, I didn't... I, I love my parents, but I, back then I didn't really show much affection to them, you know, because I thought that they'd always be there forever, right. you know. Then, you know, when, when I got my first taste of mortality, ayun, uh, everything changed, like... Wow. Uh, Life was short. I had to show. I had to. I had to do more in this life. Um, there's that saying: "Don't go gentle into the good night." You know that poem. No. It, ah, okay. Tell me about I forgot the name of the. But it, okay. it resonated with me for a while. He said, do, do not go gentle into that good night." So that meant for me, it's like before you die, go go hard. You know, go screaming. With your all with all your lungs out. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> not but, like but that. something like that. If if you know if that was possible, if that was possible, that would be so dope. Yeah. But that 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 line from his poem, it just told me na I should go, I should get out of this life swinging hard. You know. Yeah. Na parang at the end I would say like yeah I lived. When I lived. when you're there in like a hundred years, man, what do you think you would have wanted to have accomplished? Ah. Because you, you've done a lot already, like so, things that a lot of people haven't done, but So what do you think are a few other things you'd like to do? Um, I want to make my first movie. I, I have this, I have this uh, short now. Uh, I've, showed, I show, I've shown a couple of friends and then we're fixing it now. Uh, it's a short film, uh, six minutes, seven. Um, so I want to make my first movie somewhere down the line. Uh, me, I, I can't. Can you give us a teaser on what it's about, or what you'd like the movie to be about? Oh, uh, roofs. It's about roofs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. appropriate. Appro- very. Yeah. yeah so I said like. You're an expert on it. Oh, like. yeah, yeah. That's why I said like, you know, like since I'm I'm doing it now, I might as well. Right? Yeah. Um, roofs and parkour actually, and uh, there's there's a bit of fight fighting. So cool. Uh, so I I talked to a few stuntmen here. Yeah. Uh, Brian Wilson. Don't know if you know him. Uh, and we can talk after. <laughs> yeah. to some guys. But that's oh, yeah. amazing, man. That's so, really yeah. amazing. So yeah. So I'm. Yeah, I want to make my first movie. Um, I, you, you know, something like something like you playing the drums before transitioning to get to really finding yourself in guitars. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be here in the video scene 
uh, five, ten years later. I know I'm loving it. Else, you know, you know I'm, yeah. I know I'm loving it, loving it so much. Like, even though it's stressful, like the the, the actors are, uh, and then yeah, and then the directors are, uh, you, oh, you it's 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 okay because I love what I do. I love tweaking the cameras. So even if I there's mean, all that garbage in between, who yeah, cares? Like, it's still good. I, I love it. Yeah, yeah. So good. So um, nice. So. I don't know if I'll stay here, you know. Um, I could move on to uh, real estate or ooh, marketing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where you I'm going. Do yeah, I don't know where I'm going um, in this life. I'm just enjoying <laughs> everything that's set. As it comes. Set, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, but then, of course, I, I always have... You need a goal. You need this particular... Um, vision Target, yeah. to to steer you there eh? and mm -hmm. then you work your way get all your you know project management thing get all the requirements set for you to be able to reach that goal to reach that destination so i'm working towards that goal which is making my first movie and then whatever comes along the path sige g i mean <laughs> diba parang, oh you want me to shoot your restaurant i don't do food but Let's do it. So, wow. And then, I, and then, like, oh, I need a macro lens, and I need a light. Light, I have to put the light here, and then get the. So, you know, I'm already thinking about how to do this. But then, my goal is is still that part in it. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Parang when you're playing an RPG, ooh, side quest. Yeah, you'll Ca be sweet. Catch Great all the ten example. frogs. <laughs> Great. Yeah, finish all the extra. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Bonus. Yeah. Rounds. Uh -oh. or the extra weapons. And then, and then, magugulat oh, yeah. kami para special weapon if you finish this quest. Oh, I'm so happy I finished this three-hour quest. That <laughs> it's not totally related to the story. But but yeah, it makes yeah. you feel good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kailangan, kailangan. I can't, I can't. There was this good problem that happened before. Na in one week we had like four or five shoots, and then we were like, ah, oh, okay, sinip papa dalo ko here, 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 here. But because yeah, for example, like who would with me here, but then should be here. And I'm like, oh, para to, para to, para to, para to. Yeah, yeah. So, parang I just. <laughs> I just tell the client na uh, we can't shoot this day because we have a shoot. Maybe we can <laughs> so, reschedule. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, and they, they accommodate naman. Yeah, sure, Benjo, we'll, we'll move it to Thursday. Like, yes, maybe we may one day break so I can back up the files and then proxy the videos and then prepare for the shoot. So again, I guess it's, I guess it's just time management but then sometimes sometimes you can't really manage or control time or the situation that's in front of you. Mm -hmm. So, voila, you just have to Swallow it all. <laughs> it's hard, but good and talaga. There, there are days that, there are days, and I and I've told my girlfriend a lot of times now. Grabe, but ganon like, why? Bakit sumasabay palagi yung major H major major delivery ko sa day job sa major delivery ko sa shoot like always always sabi like, it's sabi sabi niya is it a coincidence like kanya, para recently para I had to I had to deliver four videos no November oh no, 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 last week tapos at that at that day that when I had to deliver those four videos I had a major task to do sa 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 day job ko so I'm like oh, oh paano to so I'm like wow. I don't know bro you if you could see it, if you could see me that day, like laptop one, laptop two, yeah, like work, I was working here and then oh, yeah, yeah, nine months done rendering. Yeah, so man, and then one's done rendering. And then the holy, holy crap, How so How do you bro. juggle, dude? Like, actually, I forgot that you have a day job. It yeah. sounds like you're, you're getting projects. Why do you still keep your day? Do you think it's necessary? Yes. It is. Yes, oh. definitely. Interesting. Um, Interesting. It keeps you, it keeps you grounded. Uh, it keeps you stable i guess parang projects Money they come coming. and go yeah, yeah, yeah projects come and go but a stable job is always there mm. so uh, again you know time management but in but definitely like i said you sometimes you can't manage the laga. so <laughs> that's just how it is man just work hard <laughs> grab it you know, I, there's this thing that i learned from one of the guys in the office that, uh -huh. uh, it's office because you can change the height of the table so there's this there's this knob here and then you you turn it around and then the sta the table starts to elevate. So he starts working standing up. And then sure I'm sitting down and I'm like Okay, it's okay. What way whatever works for you. So uh, lunch break, so pantry come. So hey man, oh I noticed you're working standing up, like why? Natok na away, so I had to stand up again and like Oh, so when you're sleepy, you lift it up and you stand up. Yeah, so I can't, diba? Because if oh, you're in a chair, sandal ka lang, oh, But when you're standing up, it's like, no, I'm standing <laughs> up. I have to work. And then so I go, so... You need to Yeah, man, at home, I would wow. stack uh, 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 
encyclopedias <laughs> and then some y- mga bowls ni mama then maglalagay ako ng photo DIY. album <laughs> so I'm standing up and I'm doing this and then I'm yeah. going here I'm just going back and forth and gotcha. so, I, so I'd start as early as 7am and then I'd finish mga 1, 2am both per both both works both, yeah. both, both, both tasks both day job yeah. Yeah. and your side gigs yeah but there, there are times a lot of times pala, not times there are, mm. there are a lot of times because uh, I work at the dining table so it's just me my mom and my brother so I'll work on one side and then I would I will I will remember after I shut down na, that my mom was feeding me pala. but then I could I can't remember that she was feeding me all I know is I was just opening my mouth and I, <laughs> so, you know. so, so I, when I was telling my girlfriend yeah. that, you know, I, I, I remembered mom was feeding me. Yeah, I, so you're I, gonna need to do that for me in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Amazing, bro. Last question for yeah, you. Yeah, okay. um, how do you stay creative? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, I have a lot of inspirations. Uh, people who've directors and DOPs who've made masterpieces na talaga. and every shoot that I get I try to like ah gagayain ko si ano si Mr. Libiseski and then, or, or gagayain ko si ano si si Zack Snyder sa shot na to kaya may light flare dito yung mga ganyan and then so so I I look up to many inspirations or many directors or DOPs who've created many 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 wonderful masterpieces and then Yun lang. I, I just try my best na you know you know how artists people who draw parang oh I oh I like I like Joe Madureira or I like Jim Lee's art and then per mm. I go and then when I know when I can do Jim Lee na and I'm like oh I, I'll add a little Benjo in this Jim Lee so parang I change the eyes wow. <laughs> take inspiration yeah you, know. you take inspiration and you you incorporate it and then see where it takes you so ganun siya and then obviously at the end of the day uh, if it's a corporate gig if it's a client project the client the client is always right we, we've had a couple of projects where we've shot like creative stuff and then the client says na, oh I don't want that so oh. tripod lang tapos show this and I'm like so like sure so you know sure that's it. easy tripod okay uh, maybe Paulit nga po. Three, two, one, recording. Oh, wow. So yeah, good. So um, yeah, I, I I look up to many people, um, nice. many 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 directors. Um, you know the guy who made Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, yeah dude. No, it's Edgar Wright. Di ko lang pangalam pero oh, Ed, yeah, super, Edgar Wright. Uh, dude, you have so, so much information in your so brain. So ringgit da. Wala ni. Any things you want to promote, bro? Anything you're you're working on right now or in the near future? Uh, right now, uh, wala eh. Paano ba? Um, so that short that short film, it's still in the works. Um, I already secured a rooftop in BGC. It's a helipad. Nice. Um, I got the permits now. I signed the contract now. Uh, I'm working on the the actors now uh, they're quite busy so I'm waiting for them to free their sked but they said they've already rehearsed the choreo but nice. they, they but but you know my sked and their sked can't meet so I can't see what they've done so I told them to just take a video and show me after do you have a name for the film? wala pa <laughs> okay yun hopefully, wala hopefully pa. by the time we release this there will be a name it, marang wala there is, there is a draft pero my friend said that sucks oh you know the, it's fine the, the name was nung start the oh, initial one ano was dapat? the client the client and he was like does that suck it's, it's so simple make it sabi ko you know naman yun kailangan you just need to make it simple eh. so yeah so, yun, so that's in the works watch bro yeah. when we release this imagine the movie's released tapos yun nga yung pangalan ng movie I'll make this sure is, this is the teaser. <laughs> I'll make sure. I'll make the sure. BTS. Ayos, bro. Thank you yeah. so much, man. Thank you for being part of the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.